In this film we're looking at the basics of retouching kind of little hair uh, ends around the face and around the head and things really. So um, this is just a, a kind of a headshot session here and you can see from the kind of the ends they all look really bad once they're actually put on a website or whatever it be. So just to kind of get rid of these, that's the key thing. So um, as far as the layer is concerned, just pick up a, a new layer. And what we want to do straight away is pick up the spot healing brush tool and then literally just paint um, them out much better with a pen and tablet, of course, um, because this will take it a little bit less time to actually run through through them. But there's no short way to really do this. Uh, if you've got a massive amount of kind of blocked hair, we'll see some of that now in a minute, there's a slightly different kind of technique to get rid of it with. Um, we could use the clone stamp tool and use the darken mode, lighten mode to stop it kind of from retouching within uh, the head itself. Uh, let's show you that in a minute. So just the stamp tool, just pressing the S there and then kind of clicking onto the uh, area I want to clone from. Let's just put this into the darken mode to begin with and you can see it's just basically not affecting the rest of the hair as I go in, so the dark part. So I can com confidently just swipe away the hair there but I find that the modern day um, spot healing tool is, is much much better. It's things like um, here where we're trying to really uh, diminish the um, the hair down quite a lot. It's tempting to go in with a very big, big brush and start to kind of do it. But as I said, if you can just get into the habit, take a little bit of a time, work through it. So just to raise that a minute, just made a bit of a mistake there. So again, back to the uh, clone stamp tool just to get rid of those wisp, those wispy bits again and it you've got to remember to have it on to content away I should have said that to begin with and sample all layers so it's actually going below so this is where we're just actually kind of going through the little parts of the hair as we're going to get in there it's this kind of area here now if we look at the right hand side of the face here we can see it's a natural way for all the hair to come from behind and that's fine but it's this next part around the side of the face here that makes it look odd at this point and I would definitely encourage the client to pay for the retouching of this element just going here so to do that first thing I would pick up is the pen tool um, and then all I would do is basically uh, shift click uh, across to the areas that I want. Reason that we use the pen tool uh, rather than uh, a normal, uh, just a selection uh, would be so that we can kind of go and move these anchor points at any stage. So I just want to move that one. Shift, control, click that. There we go. Control, click that one as well for a nice smooth rendition. So um, I created a new layer just by just getting ready for it. Now what I want to do with still the pen tool selected, I want to actually make selection. So I've just put a kind of a one radius pixel on, on that. Uh, and basically all I need to do now is kind of just pick up my... Uh, clone stamp tool again and just start to actually paint these areas out and things just picking up different locations as we're getting close to it so with some quite a lot of hair uh, and just actually bring in the kind of the color tone in in more and more as we get closer to the skin and things really um, and again if you were wor working on a head of hair of kind of where it was very very bad um, probably you'd have to paint in some of the hair back into the mix and things really. So there's our basic. Just pick up a little bit more of the tonality around. And if we just kind of zoom out, we can see the difference of that left-hand side there. And we can see what the hair on the 
the kind of the top of the head and around the top of the head is actually doing as well. So uh, it's different if you're working for the likes of a hair salon. They probably actually want a lot more uh, doing than we've done now. They don't really like the spiky ele hair elements at all with it. But for your general kind of headshot retouching, probably about a minute or two is enough to actually fix the client's uh, main key things. And obviously if they're paying for the retouching of extra images um, then of course we would uh, kind of finish off the rest of it so like the glow and so on if you're adding in the likes of a softness to retouching remember you always want to rem uh, create more texture and not lose all the texture so even when we're looking at some of these hairs at the top here and you wanting to kind of get rid of them perhaps, um, what I'd encourage you to do is just, again, work in the line of the actual uh, hairs that you work, are you're working with so you maintain uh, kind of some structure to the hair and the way that it flows and things. That's it, so that's the basics of retouching flyaway hair.